A new report by Bloomberg Economist shows just how much inflation is costing Americans. In fact, everything your family bought last year now costs about $5,200 more. It's, yeah, yeah, I could, I could <laughs> say know, yes. <laughs> I just, you know, I just sort of, on yeah. groceries, I just bite the bullet, but I, I really notice it at the gas pump. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really, it takes its toll. It, it really is amazing. And obviously the cost of food as well, you know, seriously the, going up. The, the mm -hmm. heating, the, the, the yeah. heat bill. I mean, if you're not on the monthly, what do you, you know, budget or whatever it is, I mean, it's a, it's very, very high. Right. Yes, absolutely. And when you talk about how much of a chunk that cost takes out, just food, energy, gasoline, home heating account for about twenty-two hundred dollars mm -hmm. of that fifty-two hundred we were talking about. And when it comes to feeding your families right now, those those price hikes we're really seeing them on the cost of meat. Pork is up fourteen percent. Beef is up twenty percent. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's really putting a strain on families. I feel like you can't really go to the store and just buy a couple things. I mean, I'll go and try to buy the, the things that I know will eat and, and not waste. And they can't get out of there with more than 100 bucks easily each time. Mm -hmm. Right. And, yeah, you know, we talked about scheduling earlier. This is really with, with these price increases, this is where you really, planning does help mm -hmm. in terms of taking advantage of sales or going to stores oh, yeah. where it might be a little less, because it really is a tough, tough situation for so many people. How much, yeah. so with your cars, you know, personal question, how, long, how much does it take to fill it up for both of you? Well, um, probably, you know, I, I'm, I'm always, I'm always like, I never go past a quarter down. Yeah, so I always right. think I'm going to get stuck and there's yeah, going to be a blizzard. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it, it's, you know, 20, well, it's about 30 something dollars. Okay. And it's, yeah. you know, it's a smaller car, yeah. but I, yeah, I but always, still. I'm always the person that keeps it at quarter full. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like that too. I do uh, usually try to do half a tank and then fill up. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but you're definitely spending more to get that half a tank full. And, and right now, I believe uh, as of yesterday, they were saying the national average for fuel was right around 424 a gallon. Mm -hmm. um, it's still up a dollar 35 more than what we paid this time last year. But when well, you're spending more money on fuel, yeah. then it's got to come from somewhere right. else. So. Right. And even yeah. even when you do do a sale and you think you're being like so smart and so savvy, you go to Costco and the lines are just crazy because it is less there. So yeah. it's, it, it's just it's a tough time for people and people haven't seen this it's been since the 1980s, and I remember the 1980s. I mean, this is really a tough time. It hasn't been like this for 40 years. Yeah, and more people are headed to the food bank. They're they're yes. spending more out of their savings. So mm -hmm. that uh, pinch is really hitting a lot of folks right now, yeah. for sure.